Today I'm gonna build a micro scale Lego Super Mario. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. We are here with my recent series of iconic movie scenes. You can see that we have three different kind of micro scale. Today I decided to build something related to Super Mario. There is actually a movie, but actually the iconic scene that I'm gonna recreate is actually from the first video game Super Mario 1, very iconic. You can see here I already prepared a uh, one micro scale uh, little plumber here, our Super Mario. The scale is more or less the same as the one uh, or a little bit smaller probably than this one that we use for Jurassic Park. And you can see here with this poop piece, I also built a small uh, Goomba. Uh, now let's move this out of the way. Uh, actually, if you remember, Lego already did some sort of build like this when they released the NES set and there was actually a micro scale scene hidden in the set. But here we are building habitat, so we have the usual base that I've been using for this habitat. And this time I'm gonna brick build here sideways uh, in brown. As you can see, I had to use some brackets uh, because the space in between here is actually a seven by seven because we have the sides over there. So this is gonna fit just nice and we only need that a half plate over there with the bracket. Of course, we're gonna finish here the frame and now we are ready to build up the rest. This is the shade of blue that I am using for this build. It was not actually my first choice. I actually wanted to use this one, uh, but I quickly realized that I didn't have enough parts in this shade of blue. So this was the uh, second best choice. Here we are gonna build up the other side wall and on the right side you can see that they're already starting to add a little bit of details so i have a bracket there and with some transparent uh, pieces i build up here a connection for this little uh, cloud over here but now let's move to the interesting part which is actually uh, this uh, area over here so basically here what we are trying to recreate is the classic you know uh, 2d uh, super mario one uh, let's say first level so here you can see I have a couple of these in green, one I made it a little bit taller. Uh, we have a smaller Goomba because it's like if Mario already jump on it and squish him and then we are gonna move him over here. Of course the challenge here was that I have to build something that is actually 2D in a 3D habitat and the solution I find is actually to build this uh, diagonally in this way. Uh, of course, still is missing a little bit of details. So what I decided to add over here is a little tree on this right side. As you can see, I have a couple of studs there as a connection to add a little bit of extra details. Uh, maybe we can do it this way. And then I have another bigger sort of green hill that is going at the back over there. Now, as you can see, I have a stud open there because I wanted to create uh, one of those uh, square that Mario crashes that I connect over here with a trans uh, clear uh, bracket and then with the angle studs over here, the minifigure stand, I added the star. So let's say Mario uh, already jumped on top of the Goomba, then came over, he this with that and now it's gonna catch the star. We're gonna connect to the star there diagonally and here we have the habitat. Uh, here you can see I added some masonry over here uh, because I was running out of blue so I thought at the beginning of the level it makes sense to have it like this while here I leave the blue because actually what I decided to do today is to double the size of the habitat and make it a little bit longer because we want to create a, a longer level uh, so here we need to imagine like if during the level Mario is jumping from one side to the other uh, by the way, I forgot to mention this. This is actually not from the first level, but it's some of the later level when there is this sort of black uh, cannons that shoot towards Mario. Uh, but it was a pretty easy thing to build. You can see here I already added another bracket. And here I have a couple more of these uh, more regular bricks that uh, Mario can break. And then another uh, little cloud uh, with only one of these dome pieces here at the back. Over here, I'm gonna use another very similar structure like this. We can add the 
bigger Goomba here at the beginning. I have a different shade for the hill, so I have a green one and a lime one. And over here I wanted to build up the flag, so I have a trans clear blue uh, bar going up and a mini figure end for the flag. And this is gonna connect over here and we just need to push it down. And you can see that it's already looking good. Now we need to add a couple more things to complete the scene. Uh, so we need, of course, the, the sort of brick stairs that lead him to the jump towards the flag. And this is the structure that I created. I wanted to use all one by one, but I didn't have enough. So uh, this is the little structure I created. And then at the back, I'm gonna add one more uh, cloud. We again with some transparent pieces and then the white cloud on top. And this is gonna connect to the bracket there. Let's see if we can push it in without moving too much things around. And now we have the completed level. The only thing that I say that is missing is the castle at the end, uh, but I tried different kind of thing, but uh, I would have to build it on the wall. So it was uh, on a weird angle. Why even though the three, we have the 3D uh, habitat over here, actually the level is on a straight line. So I think this is a very good uh, compromise and a really good nostalgic effect. And I think it match well with the vibe of my iconic uh, movie scenes. Here on screen now you can see how the six scenes, the six iconic movie slash video game scenes that I created, how they look together. And uh, if you enjoy this video, remember that I have already a Super Mario that I built before on my channel on a much bigger scale. We are still missing the minifigure Mario. Hopefully Lego one day will give us that. But if you like this micro scale build, I highly recommend you to go and check out the latest one that was actually uh, the one that I made for Halloween with the Nightmare Before Christmas. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you on the next video. Ciao, ciao.